Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of WholesingersFlyShop.com. I'm going to be tying a wet fly today. I love fishing wet flies, especially early spring. Um, you know, when all the big hatches are coming off. Well, spring, early summer, I should say. And uh, this is a good attractor pattern. And it's really cool and pretty easy to tie. And um, it'll catch fish. It's a proven, you know, long time old pattern. And it's going to catch fish. It's the uh, copper and hen, copper wire and a hen hackle, pheasant hen actually. So it's really easy to tie and let's get into tying it here. You're going to see a picture of it and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. It's a really easy one. Let's get into tying it. So we're going to put the hook in the vise. The hook I am using is a 718 fire hole. Not your standard um, wet fly hook, I would say. You know, it's got a long shank on it. It's a two extra long. And uh, for a thread, the next thing we're going to put on is our thread. I'm going to use a 140 denier olive and I'm going to start it right up here by the eye. Get it tied down here. And then the next thing I'm going to put on is two strands of copper wire. And I'm going to use two long ones here because I don't want to run out in the middle of it. So I'm just going to put the two ends together and uh, tie it down right there behind the eye. About an eye length, eye and a half back. Okay, and then we're going to take these two, and I'm just going to start wrapping them with tight side-by-side -side wraps. We're going to wrap it back to the bend of the hook. So you could use other colors here. I like the copper because um, it's going to give you close to a natural, you know, it's like a light brown, the copper is. So it can imitate a lot of things, but it's also flashy. It's more of an attractor pattern. So if you need to give a little push on there, push them back up tight. Then once I get back to the bend there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start wrapping this forward and it's going to create a rib. So you can see that's a really easy body, body to create. And once I bring it up here, we're just going to tie it off. And then I'm going to helicopter these off here. Okay, so now, next thing we're going to put on is two pieces of peacock curl. Um, this is just peacock curl. If you have Keller, you want to use Keller one, that's fine, but I'm just going to tie these two on here. And then pop off the tips. And we're just going to wrap it just a hair back over the copper, just so it transitions smooth there. And we're going to make a nice little ball of peacock curl here that will act as our thorax and hold our hackle up. Okay, now you see here I have one that I missed. I am going to just take, it's not a big deal, I'm going to take it up there and push it so I can trap it in. That's good. Don't worry if you make mistakes like that, they're always fixable. Okay, the last thing I'm going to use is a hen pheasant. I love using this for soft tackle. And I'm going to use the neck of the bird up here. One of the smaller fe feathers. And uh, we're just going to pluck one of them out. And then, okay, here, here you can see it's one of the neck feathers. I'm going to strip back all the fluff feathers off of it and then so there's not too much hackle on here I'm gonna pull one side off okay so you see there I have the tip and one side so we'll pick out the tip here and we're gonna tie down by the tip and the side that I strip off is the opposite side of the way that I'm going to wrap 
So we're going to trim off the tip and wrap the hackle on. Soft hackles, one of the biggest mistakes you make is putting too much hackle on. By stripping one of the sides off, you can defeat that. There you can see. Now I'm just going to peel that back and make a nice clean head. Have that lay back over the peacock like that. And then we're going to whip finish it off. And you can put a little bit of head cement or solar as bend dry on there if you want. And that's all that's to this really cool looking fly. Very simple to tie. Okay, you saw there that wasn't real hard to tie. You know, uh, just three, three, three materials. That's it. Um, four if you count the hook. So real simple, and um, you know, it'll catch fish for you. It's got a natural ish color to it with that copper you know a brown and um, it's gonna catch fish so I like the flash in it that's what I like the most about it so give it a try and uh, you know swing it with a team of flies it'll do real well use it as your attractor probably like the bottom one and then usually I fish my attractor on the bottom and whatever the hatch is on top so this would be my bottom fly if I was swinging a tandem so guys, I hope you like this. All the material you can find down in the description. You can find links to the material on our website at holsingersflyshop.com. So uh, thanks for watching everybody, and until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger.